How's it going guys? I know it's been a while since I did an update, but it's looking nice. And then over there kind of looked a little, oh there it is. Looked like shit over there, but uh, we got some nice weather now again. So uh, I'll give you guys a bit of an update and some news that's coming about. But got 65, which is my wife's mowing machine. She loves it. And uh, it's honestly a beautiful original. The patio that I had, I traded for this. Uh, rebuilt mower deck, 317 with the Series 2 Kohler, so it's the better engine. Uh, I got the cozy cab off in the shed over there, which I'll show you guys in a second. Obviously, Papa's 1972 John Deere 110 with 80 dump cart. 68 155 with its dump cart, which I just picked up last week uh, to make it a little cool set or something but uh other than that i've just been uh staying low stupid pandemic um show you guys the cozy cab here but while i'm going here i'll uh let you guys know ah fucking here here's the cozy cab my 130 uh i was gonna get restored this year but since you know covid and all that stuff uh, i just put on the piece that i had painted for it and I have the fenders, uh, another set of fenders for it too that's painted to go on. It's just kind of threw it back together. I did have the carb off of it and all the grill and the hood and all the panels and that. I was going to restore it and then I just said screw it. I'll do it this winter to take it to shows next year. So that's the plan for that. Uh, there's the cozy cab for the 317. Uh, I just need to find a blower for it. Uh, look for that later on. And uh, 110 blower there is tore right apart it's getting all new bearings and some fabrication work and the 1965 110 is home uh i haven't cleaned it yet uh it's really dirty uh, i guess when i had it in storage some ice got into it and they shit all over the shifter linkage and in the battery box but thankfully they did not eat any of the wiring they did not go after my seat cushion so I'll take that as a win, but um, I have a fella that messaged me not too long ago. He's uh, about an hour east of Ottawa, and uh, he has a 120 that his dad bought his son for his first birthday, and unfortunately his father passed away, so uh, he rang me up, and uh, he'd like to get his 120 restored for his son. And uh, I said, you know what, I'll come over, we can set up a deal and we'll make it all happen. Get it all restored, just as nice as my 110 here for him. And uh, he said, you know what, I got some Arians garden tractors that I can trade you. I said, hey, I'll do that. Why not? I'm not an Arians guy at all by any means, but you know, if I can help somebody out, uh, by the time it's all said and done, I'll have three Arians, a 14, a 16, and a no-motored one, uh, snowblower motor decks, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's not about really making the money. It's about, you know, keeping these old tractors going. And, you know, especially when it's someone, you know, it has personal connection to it. and. I understand that, you know, like that 110 here, you could offer me $100,000 for it right now, and I'll tell you to go F off, but, you know, I was my grandpa's, and I lost him over on, uh, just this past Christmas, two days before Christmas, so I took it really hard, and, uh, you know, I got raised by him. He was my, my dad in a way, and uh, I wouldn't sell this tractor for a world, but... So that's what's been going on here. Uh, I'm gonna do a little series on the 120 build. We're gonna convert it over to an H2 for them and uh, get it all painted up nice and uh, you know, make sure he's happy. Hopefully we can get that going here in a couple weeks. But other than that, uh, just self-isolation, staying at home, hopefully going back to work soon, but we'll see. Other than that, I've just been playing with tractors. But as you can tell, I had so many and now it's so bare. I got all my parts and some engines. I got a couple 110 engines, you know, just so much to do, so much to do. But other than that, I hope you guys are having uh, 
An okay uh, spring. Hope that everyone's staying safe. Wash your hands. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll keep you guys up to date and try to do better this year with the videos and that. But anyways, you guys have a good one. And uh, yeah, take it easy.